What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the On Rugged Portable Bluetooth Speaker in Black I picked up at Walmart for $39. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions to find out if this speaker is any good at $39 and to find out if it deserves a spot right beside you at the pool this summer. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions, see what comes in the box, see the quality of the product, and then stick around till the end of the video so you can see for yourself just what this speaker sounds like. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here in front of us today we have the On Rugged Speaker with LED lighting. This is $39 and I did review a speaker about seven or eight months ago by the brand Blackweb that had the exact same features. This speaker is going to replace that speaker. It's going to cost a little more, but I think you're getting a better looking speaker here. It's better designed, it has better features, and hopefully it sounds better too. I am also under the impression that this speaker is just slightly bigger. Also, Walmart no longer sells the brand Blackweb, just on. I think 10 hours is still a pretty good rating uh, given that it's only $39 and you're also getting the LED light kit and IPX7 water resistance. Now, I do quickly just want to talk about the IPX7 water resistance. You can definitely get caught in the rain with this. You can definitely take this to the pool. It can definitely withstand a few splashes and I'm sure a dunk here and there. But when you take it to the beach, just be sure that you have somewhere to place this because this does not say anything about a rating against sand. But as you can see here, if we actually flip the back of the box around to the front, you do get a good idea of the specifications here so you can see for yourself in store just exactly what you're getting with this item. You are getting uh, the option to plug in a three and a half millimeter aux jack if your phone supports that. So you don't have to use Bluetooth. You can connect it manually. You also get LED lights, which aside from the price and the 10 hour battery life and the IPX7 rating is one of the top features of this speaker. And it also lets you know that if you do buy another one of these speakers or another speaker by on the brand, you can connect them and pair them and make them a stereo speaker set. So my only hope here is that it sounds as good as the black web speaker. I reviewed for roughly the same price with roughly the same features eight months ago. Okay, so we've done the unboxing aspect. I showed you what the front of the box and the back of the box looks like and what to look out for when shopping for this speaker. Now that everything is out of the box, I quickly just want to show you what exactly comes with everything. You're going to get three items in the box. You're going to get the speaker itself and you're going to get a user manual and a charging cable. So here we get the USB to micro USB charging cable. And then last but not least, if you have any questions about this speaker, you do get a quick start guide slash user manual. Now, all I did was hold down on the power button for a few seconds and then it turned on and went into pairing mode automatically. And at the bottom of my Bluetooth settings, I was able to find the rugged speaker and connect it. And as you can see, I have it connected now. So you actually do get a play pause button at the top and as you can see it did take me under a minute to get this connected and as you can see just by hitting the play pause button I am actually able to get some music playing so pretty cool it's pretty much picking up where I left off in my music player but as you can see like I said clicky buttons you get the minus button the play pause button as you saw and the plus button the plus and minus button of course are for the volume and then at the top left corner here, you do get a button for the LED light effect. So if you actually click it, uh, it does rotate between colors. So orange, yellow. I do like all types of speakers, but when I do have the option between a speaker with an LED light kit or one with not, I usually tend towards the rugged speaker that does not 
have LED lights on it just because I think it's a little bit immature maybe or childish or really just kind of obnoxious and annoying but with this speaker I can actually finally say for once that I enjoy this LED light effect simply because it's not trying to illuminate the room with its light it's just an effect that gives the speaker a little bit of presence like I said it's just acting as an underglow it's not trying to illuminate the room or start some kind of party it is just giving the speaker itself some sort of ambiance so that it really fits into any environment and I think Walmart did an absolutely phenomenal job here so really cool that you get this LED light effect you can also turn the LED light off and have the speaker on at the same time and working as you can see uh, the speaker is on and working and I do have the option to turn the light on or off and just a couple of clicks to get it started once again and you can actually choose between a solid color or interchangeable colors and last but not least I did forget to mention at the top is also a Bluetooth button you will use this button to pair this to another on speaker or maybe if you're pairing this to someone else's smartphone you can do that as well at the back of the speaker here is a rubber gasket sort of piece that does include the charge port and the three and a half millimeter aux port nothing more nothing less what I really like is it just snaps out of place and right back into place uh, so that the enclosure will be free of moisture hopefully you can see that it is a shoelace style because this loop does look exactly like a shoelace and you can see that they've actually tied the ends of the shoelaces together so that you can actually carry it that way and also what I want to point out is the contrast here you get this nice light bluish gray tint to the speaker and the hand loop itself or the shoelaces themselves are this really cool zebra pattern black and white striped uh, shoelace hand loop that actually contrasts phenomenally well with the speaker itself when you do sit it down on the table there is a nice wide diameter rubber piece to confidently sit it upright and you don't have to worry about it shaking or moving as you're listening to music or even tipping over for that matter I am a little bit interested here will this have 360 degree audio most cylindrical shaped speakers on the market that are in this price range or maybe just a little bit more expensive all have 360 degree sound but like I said because the speaker is so inexpensive and because the speaker it was replacing did not have 360 degree sound I am almost wondering if this is just a mono facing speaker itself so let's go ahead and do just a bit of a sound test here we're going to walk around the room in a couple different directions and we're going to find out for ourselves just how good this sounds from opposite corners of the room let's go ahead and get into it Okay, so before we get into how this speaker sounds I quickly just want to clarify this is a 360 degree speaker 
I was a little bit skeptical doing the unboxing and calling this a 360 degree speaker because after all, it didn't say anything on the box about being 360 degrees, but I was also a little bit optimistic because speakers that I have reviewed in the past that are this shape and size are also 360 degree speakers. So I can proudly claim here that this is a 360 degree speaker, no matter where you are on your back patio or in your office or in your room, no matter where you are, you're going to hear this speaker loud and clear, which I did. Okay, now let's talk about how this speaker sounds. So usually when I test out speakers, I test them between three EQ settings, a flat EQ setting, which you heard first on when I tested this speaker, a bass booster EQ setting, which as you guessed, raises the bass, and a bass reducer, which as you guessed, reduces the bass. Now, usually when I test out speakers in this price range, I usually leave them at flat EQ. That's usually what I recommend because it just makes everything sound a little bit fuller and a little bit richer. But recently, Walmart has actually been putting a lot of guts into their wireless, rugged, portable Bluetooth speakers. They've been doing a phenomenal job. And this one is no exception. It too packs a punch, even though it only costs $39. With that being said, I no longer recommend the flat EQ setting with this speaker because it is so loud and so powerful that the flat EQ setting actually sort of drowns out the quality of the music it sounds just a little bit too full or a little bit too rich. Uh, it brings up the trebles and the bass and the mids and the highs all together at once and it just sounds a little bit too much for this speaker to handle. But what was actually very similar to what normally is a flat EQ setting on other devices was the bass reducer. That made everything sound just so much louder and crisper and lighter it actually filled the room, it was piercing, it was clear, it was enjoyable to listen to, and you could still obviously make out the bass because after all, this is a $39 speaker and it is 360 degrees. It does sit about eight inches tall off the table. If this didn't have any bass in it, I wouldn't be reviewing it and Walmart wouldn't be selling it. So just because you listen to this on a bass reducer setting doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to pack a punch or have any bass at all. It's just going to mute it a little bit. And that's what it did with this speaker. And it sounded phenomenal. It sounded loud. It sounded clear. But you could still hear the thumpiness and the kickiness of the bass. So that is what I recommend using this speaker for is bass reducer. Uh, not so much flat and not so much bass booster, even though bass booster did work. You could definitely hear the difference between the bass booster or the reducer and the flat EQ setting. Yeah, if you are interested in listening to something with more bass, uh, you can definitely do that and notice a difference with this speaker. So it, that's good to see, right? But I think for casual general listening purposes, a bass reducer setting is going to make this thing sound phenomenal and the flat EQ setting may be just a little bit too much. Without further ado, I do think this has a versatile enough soundstage that if you wanted to go off the beaten path and try maybe a hip hop EQ setting or an acoustic or a treble booster or a vocal booster or out of the other 15 more, whichever you want to choose, I think you could find a good casual listening experience with this speaker depending on the genre of music you listen to. I think this does have the capability to sort of expand and contract according to your personal needs. But I think for the most part, rock and roll, hip hop, a little bit of maybe jazz or EDM, I don't know, whatever your listening style is, if you're sitting out by the pool or maybe if you're sitting out on the beach this summer, this is going to be a speaker you can pick up for $39. That sounds pretty good. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the on rugged portable Bluetooth speaker I picked up at Walmart for $39. Because I picked this up at Walmart, that does make it a big box good. I really hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first impressions. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Thank you so much again for tuning in. My name is John. I think this speaker is a phenomenal buy. I think it has great sound quality. 
I think it's built well. I think it looks modern and futuristic and will meet all of the requirements you have for a portable Bluetooth speaker in 2021. And of course it's available at Walmart, which are all across the United States. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, my name is John. I will see you in the next video.